we're not going to cover all the technical details in this short video. Our goal is to help you be aware of the range of solutions Ophir offers and point you in the direction of more detailed information to help you get going. All of Ophir's USB speaking devices, the Juno, Pulsar, and USB-I PC interfaces, as well as the Vega and Nova 2 power and energy meters, can be controlled via our StarLab PC application, which provides full remote control and measurement capabilities. StarLab is an excellent system, however it can't perform every function that every customer application might need. So besides their use as standalone, fully featured laser power energy meters, Ophir devices can also be used through a COM object control. This allows system integrators to integrate Ophir measurement capabilities with legacy analysis packages. StarLab registers the COM object components as part of the installation process of the StarLab application. Registration is also possible via the Options menu of the StarLab application. Documentation and demo client applications in Visual Basic, C Sharp, MATLAB, and LabVIEW 8.6 are provided with the StarLab installation and can be found in the Automation Examples subdirectory of your StarLab directory. Note that ActiveX components are still provided for legacy systems, but they're limited in their support of the latest features. For new designs, it's recommended to work with our COM object and not with the ActiveX. For our legacy LabVIEW community of developers, we continue to supply the relevant libraries to get your LabVIEW VI solution started. A brief word about our RS-232 speaking devices. Some of our instruments, notably the Nova and LaserStar, were already popular before USB was even thought of, though some of our newer instruments can speak RS-232 as well, such as Nova 2 and Vega. Any development environment that can manipulate the RS-232 port for communication can easily communicate with the Nova, Nova 2, Vega, and LaserStar devices. Full details, including a full command set, are found in the Starcom32 User Manual and Programmer's Guide, which you can download from our website. As I said at the beginning of this short video, this was just an introduction. We invite you to click on the link below to go to the relevant page on our website where you can get detailed information, including downloading the COM object documentation. To get our latest updates, follow us on our website, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or our blog. All the links are below.